Welcome back. You're still tuned into Trading R. Well, it's time to talk about the commodity space. There's a lot happening there as well. Manisha is joining in and today we are focusing on copper. Manisha, what's happening here? Well, yes. Uh, you know, across metals, there has been a bit of a buying that has come back in. Uh, the last three or four sessions were not so great, but we're looking at copper prices now off its 11-week lows. The support comes in uh, quite strongly. Copper actually has seen a decline of 6.5% in the past one month. So there is a bit of a buying on your screens, as you can see. Well, U.S. has announced 10% of tariffs on all Chinese goods, and that can weave its way into the prices there. That is one. The second thing is that November and December are seen as peak China demand seasons, and that has been supportive as well. And then with the way the uh, data is uh, from China, there's an expectation that you could be looking at a stimulus measure coming in from China pretty soon. And that has been supportive. Not just copper, zinc gained up by 2% overnight. And that is because there has been a sharp decline on alumi inventories onto that one. Aluminum, in any case, continues to be the best performer in last one month or in this year until now. That is because of uh, Russia's Rosal says that they are looking to cut 6% of aluminum output. That is because the input cost is higher, the profit margin is not as much. We already are looking at high alumina prices, bauxite prices also at near all-time highs. There are supply concerns from raw material coming in from Australia and even as countries like Guinea and Brazil and that could be supportive for aluminum prices going forward. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that. We will slip into a very short break. We'll come back and discuss market technicals. Midesh Thakkar joins in with his top trading bets.